This is a MetaQuest 3, and I am a professional VR developer. And today we're gonna to find out if this lives up to the hype. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to set it up in developer mode so we can make games for it. If you're watching this, I assume you've already seen some other unboxings before. So I am just gonna speed run this unboxing a bit and point out some of the more interesting things I found. So first up, the controllers. These don't have cameras on them. They track just like the original controllers, except they lost the ring. So now the constellation is now in the um, controllers there. And then of course we have the headset, which is considerably smaller than the other ones. And then we have a strap. And this strap is very similar to the Quest 2 headset. Uh, and honestly, I'll probably end up using this strap a lot because uh, you can flip it up on end like that. And you don't have to worry about um, you know putting the whole he headset on in order to try it out. Plus it fits over your headphones. So um, that is quite nice. And we do have a secret compartment in the box. And this is just for your wires and whatnot. So we've got a little USB-C plug, a USB-C cable, and the instructions and warnings. Now before we start setting all this up in the app, let's compare it to some other headsets. So in order, the Rift S, Valve Index, Quest 2, Quest Pro, and the new Quest 3. Now we can do some fun comparisons, like this is the Rift S, which was the first headset to use inside-out tracking. And you'll see we've got uh, our cameras located here, which actually we've kind of gone back to a little bit, where the Quest 2, you'll see we put the cameras around the outside of the four corners. Uh, the Quest 3 has kind of gone back to its roots a little bit with the Rift S with the cameras towards the bottom. And then, of course, the thing we're all excited about is these pancake lenses instead of the Fresnel lenses like the... Quest 2 has, so you'll be able to see the difference. The sweet spot is gonna be a lot larger for the lenses. The lenses are even a little bit larger, it seems like, um, and you don't get all those little rings for focusing. And now you can use the Quest Pro controllers with this headset, so I'll show you how to set that up as well at the end of this video, too. If you wanna just see the difference between the Quest 3, the Quest Pro, and the Quest 2, I'm gonna pop a little spec sheet up here just so you can see all the differences of field of view and the lenses and the depth sensors. And the Quest Pro has a little bit more RAM, but besides that, the Quest 3 is still gonna be your most powerful. Um, and then the Quest Pro has a couple more sensors like eye tracking and face tracking that the Quest 3 does not have, which definitely keeps the cost a little bit lower. All right, ready to get set up? Let's scan the QR code that came in the box. So here at the top, I'm just gonna use my phone. There we go. And that's going to open up the MetaQuest app and then it will take us through a setup process. Continue and then allow to use my location, enter in my network name and password. And then it gives me a QR code that when I put the headset on, I can scan. Coincidentally enough, the headset has some cameras in it and there we go. And then it says continue setup. So I've already, of course, uh, set up a whole meta avatar and everything like that. So it's going to ask if I want to use my existing avatar. So I'll hit yes. All right. So a headset has been updated and then we have paired our headset to the app. Going to have us acknowledge some safety stuff, some privacy stuff. Um, sure, we'll share data to make it better. Uh, enable hand and body tracking. And we're all set, so done. Now I know you guys want to know how to set your headset up for developer mode. So in the meta app, we're going to go to menu and then to devices. And then we're going to go to headset settings, developer mode, turn that on. And now you are in developer mode and you can add in unlisted or 
or unverified apps to your headset and uh, you know start to develop. One more thing I'm going to show you how to do before I let you go is how to pair these Quest Pro controllers to your Quest 3 instead of the Quest Plus. So the Quest Plus is still using the tracking with the constellation. So there's a bunch of infrared lights underneath the surface here. And then it also has some hand tracking involved. Whereas the Quest Pro controllers are going to be a lot more accurate because they have the inside out cameras on them. So let's set that up. So to do that, we're going to go into our app and then go to menu devices. And then we'll have the Quest 3. So you need your Quest 3 paired and then click on headset settings. And then we're going to go to controllers and then pair a new controller. And then you see we have four options now. So let's pair the Meta Quest Pro right controller. And we're going to continue with the unpair of the other controllers. So we want to hold the B and Oculus button down. So we'll do that. Some haptic feedback. So we did. So we paired that one. And then let's pair the left controller. And we're going to unpair the touch controller there. There we go. Left controller is paired. Pairing complete. And then if your controllers don't appear, then just restart the headset. Basically. Now we have our Pro controllers connected to our Quest 3. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you're interested in making VR games or mixed reality games or augmented reality games, then consider giving this channel a subscribe and I will see you in the next video. We're gonna be making a lot of stuff over the coming months.